Zelensky says Ukraine takes three settlements in South, East. Here's a summary of the article. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky attends a news conference, amid Russia's attack on Ukraine, in Kyiv, Ukraine August 23, 2022, Reuters, Gleb Garanich. September 4 – President Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday marked progress in a counter-offensive Ukraine that began last week, thanking his forces for taking two settlements in the south, a third in the east, as well as additional territory in the east of the country. In his nightly video address, Zelensky thanked his forces for liberating a settlement in the eastern Donetsk region, the taking of certain heights also in an eastern area in the lysychansk sivysk direction and for liberating two southern settlements. Kyrylo Tymoshenko, deputy head of the president's office, earlier on Sunday posted an image of soldiers raising the Ukrainian flag over a village he labeled as being in the southern area that is the main focus of the counter-offensive. Vysokopilya. Kherson region. Ukraine. Today, Tymoshenko wrote in a Facebook post over a photo of three soldiers on rooftops, one of them fixing a Ukrainian flag to a post. Located just north of the Crimean Peninsula, which Moscow invaded and annexed in February and March 2014, the Kherson region was seized by Russian forces early in the current conflict. Lysychansk was claimed by pro-Russian separatists in the Luhansk region in early July as part of a battle over the coal mining Donbas area in eastern Ukraine, which also includes Sivysk. This post received a score of 5,600, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Another settlement needs our help. Where's Liberty Prime when you need him? Democracy is non-negotiable. Ukraine will defeat Russia with help from friends. Question mark. With the power of friendship. Zelensky starts glowing and sparkling. Is friendship the name of a new product line by Northrop Grumman? Joint venture from Lockmart and Bay actually. Lockmart. Save money, kill better. Fairchild, Republic is absolutely the Kmart to Northrop and Lockheed's Target and Walmart. General Dynamics is more like, I dunno, Costco? Saab is Aldi in that it is both European and unable to really establish itself in North America as a meaningful competitor to major grocery chains. If Russia couldn't do this at the start they stand no chance of doing it now. Can we imagine once Lend and Lease kicks in and Ukraine start getting as much as they need? It's going to get lopsided for Russia very quickly. The only question I have is will Russia give Crimea back to ease off sanctions? Or will they be stubborn and lose Crimea to Ukraine and keep their sanctions indefinitely like what happened with Cuba? Most likely the second one and go full nationalist dictator. But his cards are most likely already played out. Greater than go full nationalist dictator. One of the major rules for this is to not piss off your military with losses against a perceived weaker enemy. Eat shit Putin. Slava Ukraini. Question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark. Make the grass grow green and the sunflower fields flourish. Poor Chu. No los dos. Slava Ukraini. I think this will be the last large-scale military operation undertaken by a nation-state for the sole purpose of taking back our land. It would be an even larger miscalculation for China to do it. It's not worth it. Russia has cemented the importance of economic, military alliances to deter aggression, and the importance of investing in a modern, NATO-capable military force, with hardware able to communicate across different military partners. The defeat of the Russian military will have saved hundreds of thousands of Chinese, Korean, Taiwanese military and civilian deaths that surely would have occurred if the Russian-Ukrainian conflict played out differently or never happened at all. Greater than it would be an even larger miscalculation for China to do it. For China to invade Taiwan would require an amphibious assault with massive numbers of ocean vessels as large as the D-Day attack in 1944. Except here in modern times there are shore-based missiles, like the Harpoon, and President Biden just approved selling Taiwan. $1.1 billion of these along with Sidewinders. Harpoon missiles can easily blow up a ship that's 60 to 75 miles out to sea. It would be a bloodbath. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.